Hello and thank you for watching. Today we're going to do a quick review on the Highland Tactical 2600 cubic inch pack. Now as you can see I have one very similar here that I purchased online a few years ago. Now this Highland Tactical has a model number here and it is the HLBP28 and it looks like it is their 2600 cubic inch total storage pack in black. Now. Other than them looking very similar, there's some real advantages to the Highland Tactical Pack, as we'll go over here. The first one we'll go over is the compression straps. Now we'll do a quick exterior examination. As you can see, we have this compression strap there, two on the side, two on the bottom. The Highland Tactical, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have two extra compression straps along the top here. One nice thing about these is they have these little clips as well. So that's a lot easier to get into your bag when you're packing or unpacking it. Moving on, the Mully webbing on the Highland Tactical is a lot more consistent and a lot more accurate and it'll work a lot better. Whereas the Mully webbing on the bag that I've been using isn't really up to any standard. It's just kind of thrown on there. It works, but there's nothing consistent about it. We have the webbing on the side too. As you can see here, and as we flip her over to the back here, we'll go onto the straps and the back padding. As you can see, this is just straight fabric nylon, nothing special here. This, you actually have a breathable mesh and you have some padding in there as well. You can feel it. The straps on the Highland Tactical, same thing, and they're a lot thicker. They also have a breathable material and padding in there as well, whereas this is just some um, fabric and some felt. And it doesn't even go the entire length, just enough to protect your shoulders a little bit. Whereas this goes from all the way top to all the way bottom. Definitely much better construction, a lot better design bag by Highland Tactical. One thing that is a disadvantage is this bag has a morale velcro patch area right here for morale patches, which is great, but the Highland Tactical doesn't. So that was one disappointment, but in retrospect, the advantages the Highland Tactical has will outperform any disadvantages from not having the little Velcro patch. So now we're going to dive into capacity. As you can see, with this strap here, you can zip it most of the way down, but then it stops. And there we go. And I have to put quite a bit of pressure on there to zip it up because for a three-day pack, this thing is quite full. So we're going to start with the main compartment here. We'll get that unzipped and you can see how it puffs out here as you unzip it just to let you know how full the original bag was flip it over like that now the highland tactical will do the same thing but we'll unclip the compression strap so we can get into it a lot easier now we'll start with the toiletry bag here throw that down there and then we have three pairs of shorts, three shirts, and a pair of jeans in case it rains or gets cold. We'll toss those right in here. And we'll throw the lid over. And as you can see, it zips up way easier. And I can tell you right now, there's a lot of room in there still. We'll get it poorly zipped up, but I can fit my entire arm in there still. And move it from side to side there's that much more main compartment room than the original bag we'll zip that one up and we'll move on to the second compartment here there we go and the second compartment i have a raincoat a swimsuit and some undergarments we'll toss those in here a minute There we go, all cleaned out. Oh, and yeah, as you can see, there's still, there's a lot more room in the second compartment as well as there was in the first. Quick zip up, and that one is done also. Now on the top two compartments, this one I use for my electronics, which are some basic essentials. A couple of cords in case one breaks, 
couple of chargers in case one breaks and of course your little headphone adapters because cell phone manufacturers today don't think they need to include a headphone socket flashlight fits in there easy not a problem and then in this compartment i don't have much in here i have a little notebook and some earplugs we'll take a look in here see if there's a pocket there is a pocket right here toss that in there Put the earplugs in there as well. Now, as you can see, this is a lot thicker, stiffer material than this stuff. So, it'll last a lot longer too. Now that we have everything zipped in there, we can do our compression straps and see how small we can get this thing. So, we have all the compression straps on now. We'll just work our way around them here a minute. Wow, that thing is really getting down there in size. In fact, it's not even packed tight enough to make full use of the bottom compression straps. They bottom out against that strap right there and that's all the tighter you can get them. So we can fit maybe even five days worth of clothing in here rather than just three, which is a big advantage. And there you go, that's the Highland Tactical 2600 cubic inch black pack. Very happy with it, very happy with the capacity. The build quality is much higher and the features that come along with this bag make it stand out as being the best I have seen for a pack this size. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll leave a link to this pack in the description so that you can take a look at it for yourself. Have a wonderful day.